friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by here in the yarn room with me today to hang out for a little bit so we can talk about yarn because that's what we like to do. <laughs> right? We like to talk about yarn. Today I am drinking a Coney Island Caramel Coffee K-Cup. That K-Cup came in a variety box from amazon and that's all i know about it i don't know the name of you know the box or anything like that um i just know it's caramel no coney allen caramel i never even heard of that one before until i had you know got that box in but it's really good it's a good tasting coffee and i am drinking some coffee today because i woke up at like 3 a.m with a horrible headache and it has not went away even though I have taken, you know, headache medicine, <laughs> it still has hung on all night long, all day. But it could be weather related because last night, just before we went to bed, it started hailing so hard out there. And um, the thing about it, we have a metal roof. Our whole house has a metal roof. And that hail was so loud it sounded like the roof was coming down i mean it was so so loud and so after the hail stopped a little bit later i did go to bed but it stormed all night i kept waking up with it storming and then i and i woke up with a headache and i would doze back off and just wake up my head was just hurting so bad and not only that my whole body was aching like my my skeleton was just aching so it could be weather related you know it, it if you open the door i opened the door a while ago to let phoebe out and it was just like hot air just like whew. it is so muggy and humid out there we're supposed to be getting some more storms coming through <clears throat> it stormed all night it stormed this morning there's a break in the weather right now but there's supposed to be more coming and i i heard because my friend Angela told me that we're supposed to get <laughs> chicken egg size hell. I've never heard of that before. I've always heard of pea gravel size hell, ping pong ball, softball, baseball. I've never heard them call it chicken egg size hell. <laughs> I mean, I hope we don't. <laughs> I hope we don't get hail that size for goodness sakes it might crash my roof in <laughs> so anyway this uh, you know what's going on with me it definitely could be weather related but i just feel blah you know does the weather do you like that do you get headaches from weather and body aches like my skeleton especially from my knees down to my ankles that bone, the long bone there, it just feels like it's just breaking. It hurts so bad. So I tossed and turned all night, awake. I doze off, wake up just in pain. So hopefully this weather will move on out of here. Because that's, that's miserable. <laughs> so I took, something, I took something else again for a headache. And I thought, let me drink some coffee. Because maybe that will help. The caffeine will help this headache go away so that's why I'm going to continue to drink this coffee because I need to get it in my system <laughs> well guys it is whip Wednesday and what you working on today what you got going on even if it's not a crochet project or knitting or loom knitting or whatever you know maybe you're diamond painting maybe you're um sitting at the window watching the rain <laughs> I don't know maybe you're reading a book just tell us what you got going on today what's what's your project of the day or What's keeping you busy? My project for today, I'm very excited about it. I've been, I've had this in my mind, and I'm just finally just doing it, okay? It's not going to get done at one time, but it's, I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm going to show you what yarns I am using for this project. Premier Just Yarn in white. Premier Just Yarn in red. And Premier Just Yarn in blue. So that is my 
um, main colors that I'm using in this project. Now, can you guess what I'm making? Go ahead. You got time. <laughs> That's what I'm working on today. And I've been working on this just at my desk a little at a time. I put these yarns in a basket. But not only am I working with those three yarns, I'm also, I have this that I'm putting in the project. This is the Premier Basic Multi and the Colorway Americana. And I do have three of these, so I don't know how much will go into this project. But I have three. That should be enough because I should have plenty of those colors left over too. So let's talk about this one real quick. This is Premier Basic Multi, so number four. Worsted weight yarn, 245 yards, to acrylic attested and approved um, against 350 plus harmful substances. And um, it is made in Turkey. <laughs> feels really nice. It feels like a really nice um, basic acrylic yarn. So, um, this is going to go around the project that I'm pissing to tell you about. <laughs> I'll explain more about that later in a minute, maybe. <laughs> okay, and then I have this white, and I am using the white. I've already been working in it. And the red, I have been pulling from this red using it. The blue, I have not pulled from the blue yet because I already had this one that I had um, opened and was using. So, I'm using this one up before I crack into this one. So, and this is the regular Premier Basic. Now, these are um, 359 yards, you know, same specs, four weight yard and all that. And I believe these are 379 on Premier's website. Okay. And that was um, 359 yards for 379. Okay, and then they come out recently with the Just Yarn. It's been out uh, maybe a month or so now, maybe two months. I'm not exactly sure, but it is a Just Yarn value. Uh, same specs, all that information still the same, except this one is 875 yards. 875 yards. Y'all want to talk about that? <laughs> That's a lot of yarn. That is a lot of yarn. So I know I definitely have enough for my project. Definitely. <laughs> so let me just show you this value yarn right here. And it feels nice. It is a nice feeling value yarn. This for 875 yards is only $6.99 on the Premier website. $6.99. For 875 yards. Yes, please. Yes, all day long. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'll take that. Let's talk about some other big skeins of yarn and compare some things here. Okay, so let's talk about this Walmart Jumbo Super Saver. Same specs, same information. Um, doesn't feel quite as nice. This would definitely need to be washed and dried to soften up. Um, this one, it, it's pretty soft already. <laughs> you don't have to do much to it to make it, you know, soft, whatever. Okay, so I looked up on the Walmart website to see how much this is. This is $7.48 at Walmart. It is 744 yards. Okay. So, 744 yards. 875 yards. This one's 699, say seven bucks. This one's 750. So for less money, you get more yards. I don't know about you, but I'm always about stretching my money, okay? I'm about stretching my money as far as it will go. And when I'm buying yarn, I want a lot of yardage, okay? <laughs> I want and and not only that. Not only am I getting a lot of yardage from this, I'm also getting a better yarn. Okay? So let's talk about this um, crafter's secret from Hobby Lobby. This is Hobby Lobby house brand. 
Um, same specs. It's a four weight yarn, all that kind of stuff. This one, um, I looked up on the website. It is eleven ninety nine. Now, when it's on sale, um, I believe it's eight thirty nine. When they have the thirty percent off sale bi weekly, okay. Um, this one is eight hundred and ten yards. 810 yards, 11.99, but you can get it every other week for $8.39. But 810 yards, 875 yards for 6.99. So, what's your better deal? <laughs> Premier just yarn. Now, um, I do not have. I, I, I looked back here to find a Karen one pound, and I couldn't find one. But they are. 812 yards and from what I could find on the Joann's website $11.99 $11.99 for 812 and then I did find a Karen Jumbo but it is in stripe it is in print um, it is 595 yards and it's $11.99 I wanted to find a solid color one back there but I couldn't um, didn't have one so yeah so this, the ones I showed you and we talked about, 744 yards, 810 yards, 595 yards, 812 yards, or 875 yards. Okay, let's talk about the prices. There was 749, 1199, 1199, or 699. Yes, yes, <laughs> this is a great value yarn. It really is. So, this is what I'm using to do a project with. Now, you say, well, what's the dang project? <laughs> you haven't talked about that yarn long enough. <laughs> true, 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 true. Okay, so I have been wanting to make an Americana project. And here in the United States, we we can leave out Americana stuff all year long. You know, we, we have holidays sprinkled throughout the whole year. Um from february we have president's day all the way you know all the way through we have different holidays that we can decorate for americana or just because you know it's our american <laughs> us not usa you know we can decorate americana year round and you might can do that for your country or wherever you live too i'm sure you can you know you take pride in where you live whatever so what am I making with this all this yarn? I am making a ton of these. These are three rounds, um, little granny squares. I did one round of white and then two rounds of the blue on this. And I've got a bunch of these made up. And I'm going to take you to my desk and show you what I'm doing with these, how I'm putting them. And then a bunch of red and white squares made up so a bunch of red there are three rounds and I have a bunch of white and there are three rounds now for me I love making granny squares like I'm all about crocheting a granny square okay it is very just it is very therapeutic to me to just sit there and crochet a granny square um, I like the motion. I like the, the double crochet is my favorite stitch. And I like the rhythm and the motion of that. And so I can sit there and make granny squares all day long. And I've got three different colors here. So this is what I've done. I've laid them out at my desk. I've had um, my blue and my white and my red just laid out in front of me at my desk. So I make a blue one. I make a white one. I make a red one. That way I'm not getting bored with just, you know, making a hundred red ones <laughs> or a hundred white ones. So I'm changing it up, you know, and just, just making my little stacks. And so that's what I've been doing at night when I'm up watching something on, you know, Netflix or Hulu or something. I am crocheting granny squares. So I have a whole bunch here. Not enough. Not enough yet, but I have a bunch. Let me see if I can grab up here. I think this is what I have going on so far. And I have about two that I hadn't weaved the ends in. But the rest of them I have. So, 
this is what I got going on. <laughs> and so I'm going to take you to my desk and show you what I'm putting together. Now, this will make like a rectangle blanket. Yesterday's video was two ways to crochet a rectangle granny square. No, not square. Yesterday's video was two ways to crochet a rectangle granny blanket. This is another way. You can put squares together and make pictures. Hello. And <laughs> and you can, you know, shape that any way you want to. And it will make a rectangle blanket. So we're going to go and I'm going to show you how I'm putting this together and talk about it a little bit more. So come on, guys. Hey, guys. Thank you for following me in here to my desk so I can kind of give you an idea of what I am making with these squares. Okay, so I'm making a big American flag. Now, you know, not everybody lives in the United States, so you can make a flag for your country or something else that represents you or where you live or just your likes or whatever. But just draw out what you want to design, color in your little squares, and make squares. You know, like three rounds or two rounds would be ideal for a pictorial picture. Probably two rounds would be better, but um, I decided to go with three rounds for this. But anyway, um, so this is what I'm doing. This is going to be my blue section for, you know, the stars. So I am, I'm not going to be able to spread it all out because my desk isn't big enough. This is the last one I'm going to be able to show you. But I'm making this seven, it's going to be two three four five mine is going to be seven squares down okay that's what i'm going for at the moment seven squares down i'm not exactly sure how many squares over it's going to be but it's going to be a good amount <laughs> enough to make it um you know proportioned is what i like to say <laughs> Right, you gotta make it proportioned. So, if you draw that out on paper, which I did not pre-draw this out, um, I just I just didn't because I, I've got it in my head. I already know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's just lay those three out. It's three rows and three rows. Let's pretend this is my seven by seven, is what I'm probably thinking it's going to end up being. Seven down and maybe. Not not seven across, maybe five across is what I'm kind of thinking in my head, but I'm not sure yet. So anyway, I have some extras that I'm just going to lay to the side. All right. And then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do red, white, red, white. And then this will end on a red on down here. It'll go red white red white red white red um in the end and then coming down under my big square here it will be a row of whites and then under that will be a row of reds i'm gonna kind of overlap this so you can just get the idea of what i'm doing so that's that's what I'm doing now. There will be more here. It's going to be seven down and seven down. And probably probably about five across maybe. I'll just, you know, I'll play with it and see how that looks. But anyway, um I'm going to put all these together and I will probably what I'm going to do is whenever I get it ready, when I get all my blues made and I lay it out and I feel like my blue is going to be proportioned the way I want it, I'm probably going to go ahead and just single crochet my blues together so I have that little piece. And then once I get my reds done, like when I get this row of reds and I feel like that is uh, long enough, I'll, you know, single crochet all those together. Now, the way I'm going to do that, I'll just show you what I usually do when I'm single crocheting um, projects together like that. Say I have all these blues, you know, and it will be much bigger than this. What I'll end up doing is I start from the bottom 
and I just put these over like this and I start right here and I just single crochet all the way across and then I'll take these and I'll just do it like that and then I'll single crochet those all the way across and then I have all those connected I'll end up with all those connected across but not in the middle and then I just turn it I just turn it like that and lay it up there these are all you know just fold them over single crochet single crochet so and I'll show that as I get further on this project I will be showing all that but I just wanted to give you a little idea of what I'm doing and that is my whip for Wednesday and then so let me let me tell you this so once I get all these done once I get all these done I've got reds and I've got whites <laughs> right reds whites whatever and then I've got whites like the um the row under this will be white but the last row of the flag will be red the very last row will be red so our American flag starts red at the top and then it ends a red stripe at the bottom so after I get all that done I am going to go all the way around my blanket with this um, Americana premier basic multi Americana I'm going to just start in a corner just like I'm working on a granny stitch rectangle blanket and just granny stitch all the way around in all my little spaces there and go around the whole blanket in this Americana and I don't know if I'm gonna do that one row two rows three rows I'll just have to you know play with it and see what I like once I get started with it and then I might do some more you know like red and white red white and blue stripes around it might throw in some more of this Americana I really just you know don't know how that's gonna play out at this moment um, I'll wait and see how it looks and what I like you know we can definitely change our mind <laughs> but um yeah so that's what I'm working on that's my whip Wednesday project and I love it I really like how it's turning out so if you're inclined to order any premier yarn there is a link in the description box I'm gonna leave it the first thing in that description box to um, order premier yarn that just yarn or the multi basics they're both very nice yarns and I'm so glad that I have them to make this project with all right guys i hope you all have a great day and i will see you all again in the next video remember it's a beautiful day to crochet